Kia ora team, Brad here. I've just been on one of the most magnificent runs to Cathedral Cove, the most gorgeous beach in New Zealand, if not the world. But today I want to talk about how you obtain flow over trails. In David Goggins' book, Can't Hurt Me, he talks about how he was in a 100 mile race and someone just floated past him when he felt like he was standing still. And in an instant, he said he got it. He said that that person had flow and he wanted it. Bruce Lee talks a little bit about relaxed tension. It's having enough tension in the body to allow you to be relaxed and efficient and create a state of flow. And this is what we want when we are running over trails. To be efficient on the trail, it's really important to even out your energy over the entire distance that you're running. So this means thinking about it like a piece of toast and spreading your favorite peanut butter evenly over that entire bit of toast. You don't want to peak too early, put too much effort in too early, because otherwise you're not going to have enough peanut butter to spread into the edges. Now when you run trail, the trail's either going up, down, it's rolling, or it's flat. So it's really, it's really important to learn how to be as efficient as possible over those different terrains, and we can do that with controlling two metrics, our stride length, and our cadence. So let's unpack those different terrains on the trail to help you maximize flow. The first and most obvious thing that you can do is actually go and run those terrains in your training. So on your long run, uh, if you've got time during the week, hit some trails with those different terrains. So descending, climbing, and that rolling. So how are you going to maximize your ability to dial in those two different metrics, the cadence and the stride length to encourage flow over those terrains. Now for that flat and rolling terrain you want to practice different cadences and different stride lengths because you're going to need to get comfortable with those two metrics at different stages of a trail race because when fatigue hits you're not going to be able to maintain the same cadence or stride length on the same terrain at the start compared to the end of a race. So one thing that I like to do is speed work. So for speed work, get specific, find a running track and do some hundreds, two hundreds, four hundreds. Using that speed work is going to allow your system to adapt quickly to the flat and that rolling terrain with the different stride length and different cadence required. Now for climbing, well, you can't go past hill reps, but another couple of exercises that you can do to really help with your climbing is one, the box jump. It's going to really help with that explosive power to allow you to run with light feet and really engage that hip flexor. And the other exercise that I like to do is the Navy Seal Burpee. Now this really encompasses upper body and lower body synchronicity. So you're going to be working on three push-ups and two single mountain climbers to help drive those hip flexors and also work on that upper body strength so you can encourage that arm drive when you're climbing. And then for descending, I like to work on different cadences and stride lengths when I'm descending in the middle of those hill reps. So in the recovery, just work on a different stride length and a different cadence to see what feels comfortable. And this will get you, again, used to running on terrain, descending with using those different metrics, the cadence and the stride length. Another exercise you can do to help with flow with descending to get stronger and more comfortable and confident with ankle strength. So skipping and some hops, some dynamic hop work, especially those lateral ski jumps, can really improve that ankle stability and strength. And this will allow you a little bit more confidence when you're descending, which will help with that flow state. Thanks team. Hopefully you can now take some of that practical advice out, put it into your own training regime to encourage flow on the trails. So champion compassion, get strong, earn those miles and I look forward to catching up with you on the next one.